Okay, for this one, what we're going to do is look at another distance rate and time problem um, where we have two people that are leaving the same location. Um, one of them leaves earlier than the other, and the other person, we're trying to figure out how long it takes before the other person overtakes them. So what we have is Crystal left Julia's house. So we have Julia's house over here, and Crystal leaves traveling east. Um, two hours later, John left driving at 60 miles per hour. So we know that John is also leaving the same destination and he's going to overtake. So the most important thing here is that the distance that Crystal travels is going to be equal to the distance that John traveled because we're trying to figure out how long it's going to take or what was Crystal's average speed um, before John overtook her. So with this, like any other, let's read through the whole problem. Sorry, I skipped that. Crystal left Julia's house and drove east. Two hours later, John left driving at 60 miles per hour in an effort to catch up to Crystal. After driving for four hours, John finally caught up. What was Crystal's average speed? So as always with these, the easiest thing to do is to set this up um, as a little table or a spreadsheet so that you have all of the information. So we have Crystal and we have John. And we need to know something about the rate and the time in order to find the distance, since we know that their distances are equal to each other. So we have rate, we have time, and then we have distance equals rate times time. So if we go through and ride or read what it tells us, we have that John left driving at 60 miles per hour. So we know that John's speed is 60 miles per hour. Crystal speed, we don't know. That's what we're trying to find. That is our unknown in this case. The time in this one you have to be very careful about because it tells us that it took four hours for John to catch up. So John was driving for four hours. And it says that Crystal left and then two hours later John left. So that tells us that Crystal was driving for four plus two hours or six hours. So the reason that we know her time was six hours was because she left before John. John left two hours later and John drove for four hours. So that's where the six came from. We would then set up our distance. So Crystal traveled a distance of six R and John traveled a distance of 60 times four or 240 miles. So what we need to do is we would just set these two equal to each other um, and we would just have 6r equals 240. So this is an extremely easy one to solve. All we have to do is divide both sides by 6. So we can see that the rate that Crystal was driving was 40 miles per hour. So with this it's always best to write it as a sentence. So we can say that Crystal averaged 40 miles per hour. And we all know that when we're driving, you don't stay at a constant speed most of the time. It fluctuates. So we're just trying to find her average speed over the six hours. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please make sure that you let me know. If there's additional topics that you need me to cover, let me know that as well.